Welcome, you're gonna love this guy. It's Simon King! I, uh, I am getting extremely tired of these people who claim to speak for God. Have you seen these people? They walk around with signs like, God says this! God says that. God hasn't said shit in 2,000 years and his publisher is getting nervous. Okay, so stop walking around with signs. It's always negative stuff too, like, God hates gays. God doesn't hate anybody. That's the point. You just feel kind of scared because sometimes you want to hug a dude without a shirt on. So you made a sign and went down to the mall. I understand. Life is frightening, but what kind of an arrogant human being do you have to be to believe you know what God says? Really, you're the one God chose to speak through? You with the Walmart sweatpants and the Dale Earnhardt shirt who thinks one Nickelback song sounds different than other freaking Nickelback songs, you're the guy. I don't care what you believe. As long as you don't hurt anybody, you can float yourself in a bath full of cocoa butter with a carrot in your ass. Just upload the video. I don't care. But stop pushing your religion on people. Look, look, every major organized religion has had a terrorist act, except for Buddhism. And maybe they did. Maybe some guy with a shaved head and robes on went into a red lobster and didn't order anything. I don't know how a Buddhist terrorist works. You're going to feel guilty. I don't know. But nobody weaponizes science the way they weaponize religion. No one's jumping on a commuter bus with dynamite under their lab coat going, I saw some is the only true triangle. <laughs> Some guy says to me, he's like, why are you so pro-gay? I'm not pro-gay, okay? I'm anti-idiot. Like, if you're a straight guy, you should love gay guys, okay? The more gay guys, the better. Because it's less competition for women. Okay, the last people you need out there competing for the attention of women are guys with 6% body fat, a good haircut, and the ability to listen. Are you... Are you out of your mind? Well, how come gay people get a parade and this Chinese New Year parade, how come white straight guys don't get a parade? Well, for a couple of very good reasons, okay? One, a white straight male parade would be freaking boring. It'd be just a bunch of guys in tearaway pants eating macaroni and cheese going, this is really freaking cheesy. And the other reason... The other reason white straight males can't have parades is because sometimes, just sometimes, when groups of white straight males get together and have parades, things get out of hand and six million Jews go missing. We can't have anything nice. No. Yeah, I'm making it up. That's why people get nervous when they see five white guys in the same outfit, because they think we're up to something. And we usually are. When was the last time you saw five white guys in the same outfit and things went well? It's never a good sign. Look. Second hearing about gay marriage for two very good reasons. One, it's a basic human right. Leave them alone. Gay people didn't wreck the economy. They didn't gay down the towers on 9-11. There's no gay terrorists with sparkles and confetti. Jihad mofos. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Makes no sense to hate love. And the other reason I don't want to hear about gay marriage every day is because maybe I'm not having sex with anybody and I don't want to hear about people having sex every day on TV. That is mean-spirited shit. That's like piping the food channel in a Somalia. It's below the belt. Stop it. <laughs> guy comes on, these guys are super happy they're having sex and now they want to be married forever. I'm at home in the dark eating chicken. I want what they have. You can't have it, fatty. Tears. Look. <laughs> the way I look at it is like this. Anyone wants to touch your genitals, freaking let them. Because soon you're going to be 90 years old, all dried out in a porch going, I wish I went into the woods with that homo. Just do it. <laughs> Just get some Jagermeister to wash this taste of regret out of your mouth and build a memory to tell the grandkids one day. <laughs> you ever go to war, Grandpa? No, but me and a black guy rotisserie this Cuban dude in the bushes one Pride weekend. Cheryl, get my puppets, I'm telling the stories again. <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to say is I hate babies. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Because babies grow up into idiots. Let's face it, like nine out of every 10 babies grow up into idiot. And if you don't believe me, go to a Walmart on a Sunday. It's, it's true, all right? I don't like babies. Babies are dicks, they really are. They just do whatever they want. They, if your roommate craps himself on the couch, he doesn't get to be your roommate anymore, but a baby does it and it's adorable. And they don't even pay rent. No, they're like rich midgets. They just do whatever they want. It's not fair, I don't like it. Like, and, and also, if you have a kid, you know your whole job is to stop it killing itself. That's all they do. Don't eat that, don't put that in your mouth. What are you doing? Stop it, stop doing that, stop it. They're like a little suicide machine. It's like hanging out with an emo kid 24-7. It's not fair. No, I don't like babies. And there's too many. 
We, we have too many people. We've got to stop having... Well, we need some babies, because every so often someone's got to squeeze out this guy. You want fries? Because we don't have a machine that makes hamburgers. I get that, but... <laughs> but it's true. Idiots outbreed us 10 to 1. While we're here, Cletus is having sex, making a market for according to gym DVDs. He's out there right now. We can't stop him. For every one kid smart people have, idiots have 10. We can't win this war. The only way to win the war is to stop making laws to stop them from killing themselves. No more helmet laws. No more seatbelt laws. One fence between you and the panda bear at the zoo. Because if you can't figure out the operative part of Panda bear is bear, you're a freaking sandwich, and that's the way nature intended. All right? My name is Simon King. Good night.